guys, it's Chessa with Checker. Welcome to our two year anniversary of our What's New Live. It all began two years ago when things changed a little bit, but our sales team and our buyers were not going to be able to meet you face to face in Pittsburgh during spring market. So we made sure that that wouldn't stop us from finding new ways to show you what was new in the industry. We went live on Facebook and you guys just gave us such a great response that two years later we're still here doing it. We have special guests that come on now and these lives are really just for you guys. May is traditionally when in-person spring market takes place, but don't worry, we have a special month planned to virtually share hundreds of the newest sewing and quilting notions and fabrics to help your business grow. Stay tuned for more details on that. It's always fun to see where you're watching from, so make sure you leave a comment with your shop name and location. To make ordering easy for you, there is a link in the description to all the items that are being shown today. If you have a question or would like to take a second look at something, just drop it in the comments and someone will let me know that you have a question, usually Sasha. And if I can answer it, I will, and if not, one of the buyers standing by would be able to. Checker has many ways for you to see what's new in the world of quilting. We send a bi-weekly email on Mondays with just the newest items that have been added the previous two weeks. You can also use the drop down on our website and filter newest to oldest. And of course, we are always posting the new products and videos on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube. So if you don't already follow and like us, make sure to do so. Again, we have a Q&A at the end, so don't be afraid to ask a question. And today we have not one, but two special guests. Maria DeGroote, our Creative Grid Specialist, will be joining us to show a few new patterns using Creative Grid tools. And Jeff Smithers, our Fabric and Thread Buyer, is here to share several really pretty new fabric collections from Riley Blake and a few other vendors. We know how much you love fabric, so you're going to want to stay tuned for the whole episode. If you need to step away and tend to your store, no worries. The video stays on Facebook. Just stop back and watch at your convenience. Let's see who's watching today. Hello, Mary from Little Max in Michigan. Hello, Barb from Barb's Custom Quilts in Canada. Hello, Biblioteca in Costa Rica. Thanks for tuning in today. Hello, Marcy. Good afternoon to you, too. Carol from Escola Quilt Company in Iowa. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Let's start with some new books from Guild of Master Craftsmen. First up is Weekend Makes Crocheted Bags. So this book has 25 quick and easy projects to make with color instructions. Here you have super cute beach bag. You have, if you notice on your social media, you've probably seen crochet all over it. It has made a very big comeback. It fills Instagram and Pinterest. So make sure you grab your crochet hook and yarn and join the trend by creating a carrier for every outfit with the Weekend Makes crocheted bags. Here we have another Weekends Mix. This one's Macrame. Again, you have your full color instructions. There are 25 patterns in this book as well. This versatile textile art is also seeing a huge comeback in the industry. So it's time to get on board. As you can see, it can be as simple or complex as you want. So it makes that ideal for crafters of all abilities. Macrame, contemporary projects for the home. From David and Charles is the English Paper Piecing Workshop. You have 18 projects for beginners and beyond in this book. Jenny Jackson is an expert in EPP and has created this collection of techniques and patterns for 
modern projects for the home. You have some really striking quilts. That one's super cute. Theoretically, Jenny holds your hand through this process, so even if you've never tried it before, you can complete a project and be proud of it. English Paper Piecing Workshop. Creative Mending, Beautiful Darning, Patching and Stitching Techniques is from Tuttle. There are over 300 color photos and 13 illustrated lessons. There are super detailed instructions and techniques. There are lots of variations. So everything in this book will walk you right through it. Again, even if you've never done this before, it's all right here at your fingertips with the Creative Mending Book. If you can see behind me, we have this super cute welcome sign. And in the middle here, the O is a nice little sailboat with some patriotic colors. So that is from Poor House Quilt Designs. And there are actually a couple different versions. You have the welcome that is behind me. As you can see, that runs side to side. You can also make welcome from top to bottom. So you would hang it maybe next to your door like this. And as you can see, it's really simple. You just take whichever, whether you want to do it by seasons or holidays, and you can just swap it out. Not only is there welcome, there is home. Again, you can do it vertical, horizontal. We move this one over here. This one actually has the same background for both, so it kind of blends right in there. I thought it was kind of fun to put it on this one. The colors still go, but the O kind of pops. So there are 12 monthly designs. You got your spring little umbrella, your snowman, your Valentine's Day heart. So it's really up to you if you want to change for each month or just leave it up for the couple seasons. This home banner is eight by 25 inches and the welcome banner is nine by 41. So that was from Poor House Quilt Designs. They're called the welcome home banners. The zip and clip bag that I have behind me is from around the bobbin so you have this super cute little pouch but it has big organization in it you got a snap opening you have a nice large pocket on the inside but it's a little hard to see you have a pocket on the side here that's a velcro closure you have a zippered pocker pocker pocket on the other side, and you have a zippered pocket on the front as well. And also, I didn't even see this, you have just a regular pocket too. See, you just keep finding more and more with this little bag that packs a lot of organization. You can do it as a crossbody or just kind of a, around the shoulder. Uh, I would put my phone in there. I think it's perfect for your phone. If you're going to a concert or something, you know, you don't really want to or you're not really allowed to take a bunch of things into it. So this would be super great. There are, in the zipper pocket, there are credit card slots as well. So that's even more secure. And the bonus bonus is this is fat quarter friendly. So this is the zip and clip bag from around the bobbin. Next, Chrissy is going to model the return of the poncho pattern from Cotton Street Commons. Oops, we forgot to snap your arms. I thought you were just going to show it how it works. That's why I didn't snap it. Oh, well, you can snap it and then you can shh. Awesome. Then 
you want to pick it up. So do a little twirl. You'll see the design on the front and the back. You have the nice little hood. Super, super cute. So this is a one size fits all quilted poncho. It's great for all ages, for male or female. You can see simply this one is reverse. So it has the darker fabric as the main feature fabric. You can wear this for the beach, a campfire, a ball game. Chrissy can wear it at her desk because she's always cold. So that would actually probably be really great for you. Yep, send me one. <laughs> <laughs> or Maria, add it to the list of things you made like, for us. I like black and white. <laughs> hint, hint. Hint, hint. <laughs> the designer said she's working on a swimsuit cover in lightweight fabric. Who did? The designer. Cotton Street Commons? Mm -hmm. She's working on a swimsuit cover? Ooh. Oh, make sure you send us that. Chrissy will happily model it. Mm -hmm. Not a swimsuit. Well, it's a cover. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, you, you can choose the type of batting that you use. So you can make it thicker and heavier. Chrissy should probably have more batting in it. <laughs> and the pattern can easily be adjusted if you want it a little longer or a little wider. Longer might be good because then you can cover as you sit on your desk. Oh yeah. Sit on your desk, sit on your chair. So, and it's super easy to take on and off. You have your little clasps on the side to keep it secure. And then just flip it over. And, and voila! So that is the return of the poncho pattern from Cotton Street Commons. Everybody give it a big hand to Chrissy for coming out and modeling for us. <laughs> Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Here, you take this one too. Yes, thank you. Move that stool so I don't trip. So next, we're going to talk about the Steam Fast SF760 Cordless Steam Iron. So this gives you <laughs> optimal maneuverability to get every wrinkle. You can see you got the nice point here at the top. There is a seven second reheating time frame and a 30 second usage time. That reheat time of seven seconds, that's really quick. That's really handy. So you can remove your wrinkles quickly and freshen your fabrics without the use of harsh chemicals. And it also has a carrying case. I don't have that out here because I didn't want to hinder the view of it. But um, it fits on there really snug. It snaps into place. So I mean, you can literally carry it by the handle, take it to class, take it to a retreat, and you are good to go. And you can see it's on the smaller side, a lot of the cordless ones have a really large base, but this one is on the smaller size. So it's again, great for your portability. You can use it on the go, or just great for sitting next to your wool mat on your ironing board or, but a lot of you guys already know Steam Fast and you know their products are built to perform and they are built to last. So you will not be disappointed. Let's see who else is watching today. Hello, Margie in Missouri. Thanks for tuning in. Sherry in oops. Quitches. Quitches. That's cute. Sherry in Quitches gets stitches. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> in Texas, thanks for tuning in, Sherry. Christy from Valley Quilts in Ohio. And Anne from Norway. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. Next up, if you're a dog lover out there, you know every dog lover needs a pup in their sewing room. You might not want your actual dog in your sewing room sometimes, because I know with my cats, I can be a little like, can you just go over there and let mama do what she needs to do? So these are Lucky and Lola from Jennifer Hainan Creative Company. So these can be used as handy decorative pin cushions or as snuggly puppy plushies for the little little ones in your life, or even the adults, because I think it's super cute. So, and simply changing the fabric, I mean, super cute. So these are Lucky and Lola from Jennifer Hainan. Up next, as you can see peeking out behind me, these are home gnomes from Susie Seashore Designs. 
And I know my mom's excited right now because she asked me if I had any gnomes to show today. Like I always have gnomes to show. <laughs> so these include instructions and full-sized pattern pieces so that you can make your whimsical gnomes, placemats, you can do pom-pom coasters. So you can do it in seasonal. You can see this has got a nice little Christmas vibe going on. This one kind of gives me a little winter with the blue. Or beachy. Behind me is kind of fallish. I mean, I know everybody here has got loads and loads of fabric. So you can make them to your heart's desire for, um, you can do year round fun. Or like we said, you can just do it in holiday colors and they're just going to be happy memories and they would make a great gift. So these were the Gnomes by Susie Seashore Design. Next up is just a cute little classic sewing basket from Dritz. It's filled with your essentials. I'll pull this out here. So like in here, I have the seam ripper, I got some pins, tape measure, you got your cute little tomato pin cushion, scissors, needles, thread. So this is great for, I really need a sewing case to go like on the go. And I know what you're thinking, this might be a little bag, a little big, no, it's not, it's not. But you got a super cute fun design, you have your nice handle. You have that snap closure, so if it gets kind of knocked around, it's not going to all spill out. So this is from Dritz. Next up is this Spray and Bond Fabric Stiffener from Thurble Web. This is a must-have for any fabric crafter. It makes fabric more paper-like and fray-free for easy cutting, pressing, stitching. So as you can see here, I have a just a regular non-treated piece of fabric. This was one coat. Look at that, it just stays. So it's a quick dry non-aerosol formula, so it dries clear and it can be left in or washed out depending on your needs. Here I sprayed another piece of that fabric and I just kind of let it dry over the lid. And look at that. It's not the most beautiful creation I've ever done, but it could be a little hat for a Barbie or... Great for fabric flowers. Oh yes, for the fabric flowers. Mm-hmm. I should have made a flower. Missed opportunity. <laughs> could have made a whole wreath. But unlike other fabric stiffeners on the market, you do not need to soak the fabric. You just spray it until damp and you let it air dry or you can iron it for immediate use. But I just let these air dry and that was just one coat, one coat. You don't need much. You don't have to soak it like they said. So next up is Heat and Bond. Um, easy seam fusible batting tape. Now, this took me a second because, you know, I'm still just a couple years into this, so I don't have a lot of batting scraps. I kind of just get batting as I need it. But let's go on down to the table so I can show you. If you just need to add Maria machine quilts. So she was like, sometimes I just need that little extra on the edge so that you can clamp it and you would just take the tape you just lay it texture side down, you iron it for about 15 seconds, and now you have created a new piece of batting. There's another one, just put some scraps together, and you still have some give. So it doesn't make it rock solid. It's still soft to the touch, you can still, it's not rock hard. So that was the Heat and Bond Easy Seam Tape. Now we're on to my last item before I leave you guys for a little bit. <laughs> Just knocking things over, no big deal. Um, you guys all pretty much probably know Susie Toronto. 
She came out with over 35 new gift items. You have, you want to get a little closer to me? See it? You have 16 ounce tumblers. You have 11 ounce mugs. And you know, Suzy Toronto, there is always super cute sayings on it. This one is my favorite fabric, fabric cadabra. And on the other side, it says, an enchanting spell I cast to make fabric magically appear in my stash. Note that said, appear, not disappear. We have some luggage tags. This one, life is a work of um, heart, with the art is capitalized, and mine is a quilt. And we also have mouse pads. So like I said, there's over 35 of them. So a lot, if you see a, a quote on the tumbler, you'll probably be able to get it on the cup or the mouse pad if you would prefer. And I'm just gonna put these out of the way and let Maria talk to you guys. If you were probably wondering about this beautiful quilt behind me, she's gonna give you all the info on that. I'm just gonna move it out of the way. Hey everybody, it's so good to be back again and I get to be part of the two year celebration even though I haven't been here for two years yet. So like Chessa said, the quilt behind me is a pineapple block, but there's a little twist to it. Jean Ann has been playing with the original pineapple and the, the mini that came out before the last one that was the 12 and a half inch skinny. It's a lot of words, right? So she created this, she started with the mini block in the center and then use the original to blow out the corners. So she's calling it the pop out pineapple technique. And I've got a couple pieces here to show you so that I can kind of explain a little better. She also did this table runner. So all those red and black fans, those are Ohio colors, right Jeff? <laughs> Anytime something comes like this in the, in the workroom, oh those are Ohio colors, the Buckeyes are some of us prefer Michigan, though. <laughs> <coughs> and I'm not getting in the middle of any of that. <laughs> so what I brought to show you is a couple of blocks that haven't been put into a quilt yet. And I'm going to show you the blue one first. So here I started with the skinny, and then I added thicker logs on the outside, just like Jean Ann did on her the quilt and the table runner. And this one is just the color swapped. What a difference. A huge difference isn't it mm -hmm. and so easy to do you can use all the same blue if you want to and all the same reds I put all different ones in there so you could see the rounds a little bit better but if we can switch views down to the table let me show you really quick how this goes so I'm going to start with and it's called the pineapple trim tool four five and six inch also fondly known as the pineapple mini. So look at those tiny little pieces. These were one and a quarter inch wide strips, all varying lengths to do the different rounds. The instructions for the quilt and the table runner tell you to stop at round six. So I'm gonna find my round six here on the ruler and line it up with the center. And this is what I'm gonna trim off of the block. cannot say enough about this rotary cutter we got in. Love this thing. Spin that around, trim round six, the other two sides. From here on out, I'm gonna start adding one and three quarter inch strips. And to give you a visual of what that looks like, look at the difference here. Same center, but now I'm going to start with these thicker strips. So for this round alone, I'm going to still use the mini to trim. For the odd rounds, we're going to line it up like this. That 45 degree line goes on that seam line. This 
it takes a little longer, you just got to switch it for all four sides. Side edge and around the center keeps my ruler from slipping while I do this. Love it. So there is the next phase. Now I'm going to switch from blue to red logs. So the next round is going to look like that. And because I followed her instructions, I'm going to get out my larger ruler. Same pineapple shape, but this is a little bit bigger. I'm going to find round number four. She explains all of this in her instructions, and look where it's going to go. Instead of just on the center, it's going to surround what's actually round number two in that first block. So just like that, I'm going to keep trimming and adding until I make my whole block. But now those pieces got a lot bigger, so it's going to go a lot faster for the end here. Can you see where that's going to land in the quilt? Here is that mini block. And now I'm adding those larger logs, so I'm right here in that block. I'm going to keep adding white and alternate reds, finish off with red corners, and I just made a pop-out pineapple block. And I'd love for you to check out both the quilt, there's a table runner, and there's a patriotic tote bag that she did with this technique. This will be part of my patriotic bag so that I have a sample here to share with everyone and keep explaining that technique. Yeah. That pineapple bag is pineapple pop-out tote. Yes. And behind you is pineapple. The pineapple spite pop-out pop spice. Pop-out is the, the method kind yes. of going on. Yes, because you start with small and pop it out big on the edges. Okay. And that Ohio State runner you had yeah. earlier, you have pineapple <laughs> pop-out table runner. Pretty self-explanatory names. There you go. So now you got all of it in one shot. All right, we clear the deck again for the next phase here. I added a little fabric to the table for you, Jeff. Thank you. Can just go with his other fabric he's going <laughs> to show. Okay, hi everyone. Good to be back. Been a while since we've done a fabric edition of uh, the Facebook Live, but um, we're going to show you some highlights today from our spring release. Um, as I have said in the past, when we've done some of these uh, presentations um, with the supply chain the way it is today. Uh, if you're on the fence about a collection we're about to show you, get your order in early as soon as you can because it, they, the supply chain's tightening up, um, orders get delayed. You know how the ports are and shipping lanes, so. Do your best to get those orders in early. Call your sales rep to make an appointment or check our website and talk to our, one of our customer service representatives. So with that said, let me start off today. I'm going to start off with a, a Wilmington line. I'm going to just show you again the highlights of some of our, our fabric partners and you can get a taste of what they've got and then you can uh, schedule an appointment with a sales rep and see the rest. But We'll start with a group called uh, mm -hmm. Dry Brush, and it's a it's a basics group that's been out for quite a while, very well known. Um, 108 inch. There's brand new colors that ship in December, and I'll show you them here. 108 inch wide goods, beautiful. Dry Brush, and new Dry Brush, and kind of a pastel. And these ship in October. I've got my cheater notes here. Forty-five inch goods, dry brush. These are essentials from Wilmington. 
Uh, next, I want to show you, uh, we'll do, we have two new block of the month uh, with Wilmington. And the first one is called Blissful. And Blissful has a, the fabric itself ships in February 2023. The shop kit uh, ships in December of this year. But let's, let's have a look at the, here, we'll look at the fabric. And then I'll show you the project here, but. Really beautiful line. And it makes, it, it, this particular group coordinates with this block of the month called Blissful, or it's called Blissful. It's a queen size quilt, 93. It's a big 93 and three quarter square. Seven month block of the uh, seven month block of the month program. It's such a tongue twister. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of the real nice things about these Wilmington block of the months is you can order these um, case packs that will allow you to make ten kits, twenty kits, thirty kits. Your sales rep can get you helped out there. When you get the case pack, you've got a thumb drive that comes with it that has all the patterns that you would need, and you can print out as many copies as you like. So it's a real I think shop friendly program that they have. So uh, that is blissful. We're, oh, right here. And your, your shop can also show you, or your sales rep can show you all the necessary um, cuts and the amount of bolts that you would need for each kit that, or each size program you would like to run. That is blissful. We've got a few other projects here that go with the fabric line. If you don't want to do the block of the month, we've got some pillows, we've got a couple nice projects here, a twin quilt, a table topper. And we've also got here, I didn't mention this, we've also got some matching pillow shams, which if you buy a few extra bolts in addition to your uh, quilt uh, case pack, you can also make these nice shams. So that is blissful. Oh, and of course, and I didn't mention this, the pre-cuts that go along with it. You can buy pre-cut packs just for it. Okay, next we have another block of the month called Lockwood Manor by Kay England. The fabric ships in March of next year and the shop kit delivers in January. So let's have a look at some of these. First, let's have a look at some of these, uh, these patterns. Real nice line. Beautiful stripe on the left there. Lockwood Manor. Got a nice table topper. Got a nice twin quilt. Got a few other projects here. Got some placemats and pillowcases and garment bags. We don't see those often. That's nice. Basic runner. We also have the pre cuts that go along with the project. And then finally, we've got the block of the month project. This is a queen size, this is a 98, this is a generous, this is generous, 98 inch square, queen size quilt, nine month block of the month program. Again, ships in March and the shop kit comes in January. So let's, and again, if you wanna ask your sales rep stores, they can show you more pillow shams, more pillow shams. They can show you all the bolts you need for the program. That is Lockwood Manor. Okay, now we have, oh, Chessa, you'll like this. Your mom will like this. <laughs> the gnomes. Gnomes. There you go. We'll go back down here. These deliver in November. Gnomes are still very popular. Sarah and Kate at home, that's for you. My Aww. wife and daughter love gnomes. Hi, guys. Let's pull out some of these projects. Let's look at the, the prints first. Got a nice 24 inch panel here. Beautiful stripe. Very springy line. There's a per scale on that stripe. Oh, this one's stuck. That's why I want it. This is Gnome Garden by Susan Wingett. We've got, again, 
we've got a couple we've got a table topper project we've got a throw quilt 57 by 68 a couple extra projects we've got some uh, aprons sewing machine cover got a, a, a runner and some tote bag projects and we've also got uh, a pre-cut project here and the pre-cuts and that is Gnome Garden. Okay, lastly with Wilmington, Nancy Mink in bloom delivers in November. This could be my favorite of the bunch. I don't know if you're allowed to have favorites. You're right, right. I'm not supposed to have favorites. <laughs> of the Wilmington bunch. We've got a nice uh, 24 inch repeat, kind of a panel piece here. Couple nice bees. I like the back back black background of this line that they show. It makes it pop. Yes it does. In bloom. Let's show some of those projects with this one. Look at that stripe. Isn't that pretty? We've got a nice table topper. We've got a twin quilt. 68 by 68 and a half by 83 and three quarter. We've got some aprons and some placemats and sewing machine covers. And then of course we have the pre-cuts. And we've got pre-cut project centerpiece. That is In Bloom by Wilmington. Okay. I always say the highlights, but it, I just always want to show more than just just the highlights. There's so much, a lot of strong lines this, this spring. Well, you can always go to our website and go to the fabric category and search who has sold it. <laughs> Excuse me one sec, I'll step off here and put this one here. Okay, now I've got a couple groups. Let's show some Henry Glass. Henry Glass, we've got a Valentine's group. Be Mine delivers in November by Jane Allison. 24 inch panel repeat here. A couple nice projects. Be Mine. It's a big quilt, 86 by 86. Another seasonal group, Happy Easter Nomies. Shelly Comiskey, more Nomi's, 24 inch panel, got a 50 by 70 quilt, just a fun Easter line, always have our coordinating basics, modern melody basics, 10 yard cuts on those basics. We've got a nice project here with some tables, some placemats here, a nice table set. That is Happy Easter Nomies. Uh, we have another one here, ships in this one in December, Just So Happy, but also by Jane Allison. Got a 24 inch panel, block panel, sewing theme coordinates, sewing theme line. Got a nice stripe, some square buttons, all kinds of sewing accessories. More of your basics. Big quilt, 59 by 74. And then lastly from Henry Glass, we have more out outdoor theme by Jan Shade Beach. This one delivers in October. Woodland Whispers. Really nice panel, 24 inch panel there. 74 by 94 inch project. Got uh, outdoor themed coordinates. We've got the elk, the moose. I see a fox in there. There's bears. We've got all your wildlife covered, North American wildlife covered there. That is Woodland Whispers by Henry Glass. So we have a question for you. Okay. 
Carmen would like to know how many yards are used in the Lockwood Manor block of the month for the top and the binding. Is that information we have on that card? Uh, I, possibly. Uh, that might be a question I better answer. After. Yeah, afterwards. Carmen, we'll get you an answer on that. And okay. Ina would like to know if it's possible to get color cards of the peppered cotton. Um, we might be able to secure some. Absolutely. We can get with Studio E on that and, uh, and find out for you. All right, I know we will be reaching out. Thank you. Okay, next I'm going to show you some goods from Robert Kaufman. They have a couple basics here that they've expanded. One of which is um, their Prisma dies, which is a watercolor themed uh, petite group. And I'll kind of hold it up like this. So you can kind of see the whole palette. I don't know what my greens are standing up here. But um, God, I'm gonna have to call you Byron. I was telling me that iron is fabric. I got an iron is fabric down, right, right, right. <laughs> We've got quite a few, I don't know, over 20 new Prisma dye colors, but I just I'll show you the whole range. You can see which ones are new on our website. Because you probably won't be able to tell by just looking at this. But this is a really nice uh, watercolor true batik uh, range. So I just wanted to kind of highlight that and show you those new items in that line in general. Prisma Dyes by Robert Kaufman. Okay, that one won't fold up correctly. I'm gonna hand that to you, Chessa. I'll get that. Okay, and now we also have, and it's similarly, kind of a nice blender group. And I'll hold this one up as well, Cindy. Fusions by Robert Kaufman. 64 new SKUs, new prints. All the new prints deliver in November. But as you can see, it's a really cool line. Different mixed, uh, some pre-cuts that go with it. Different mixed looks, look, very blender line, blender looking line. You've got florals in there. You've got, well, it's all florals really, but different variations and smaller prints, lower volume prints, higher volume prints, but really nice. These are fusions, 64 new colors. And these deliver, I think I said November. Yes. Fusions, Robert Kaufman. Okay. Uh, another good strong line from them, this release. I'll keep this one down. Natural Textures by Debbie Beavis. Real quick, are there case packs available for Fusion? Um, we may have some available. Um, that could be something that we do special order. Okay. Natural textures. The thing I like about this, this nice, beautiful presentation, we've also got all the nice projects here shown with it. You can find these. And there are also uh, pre cuts that go along with this group as well. But a real pretty floral line, springy looking floral line. Consistent with what I think she's done in the past. This is Flower House Collection, by the, a Flower House Collection called Natural Textures. Okay, we've got some brand new cozy cotton, which is Robert Kaufman's uh, nice flannel uh, flannel print line, and it goes well with a lot of their flannel styles that we've got. But I'll I have three new three cards here of some new items. I'm not gonna dwell on them too long because there's three cards, but a real beautiful palette. It's a very soft soft look. Got some new yellows, greens, and pinks. All these ship in September, all the new ones. That is 20 new prints. Some more pink and greens and oranges, and we got some red and black and whites here. And the last one more blues, light blues. Some pastel colors and purples. This is Cozy Cotton Flannel by Robert Kaufman. And last from Robert Kaufman I wanted to show is a, a group called Stevenson County. And it is a, a group of, I would say, reproduction era um, colors, which are, are more traditional. And we don't sell as much anymore. But this is an, actually a really beautiful group that is doing very well and has been very popular. Look how well done this is. Nice small prints. Got a good range of colors there. 
These are got, these deliver in October. Twenty nine different items. Got some lighter ones there. Some darker ones. These are really beautiful. Stevenson County. Okay, and that is Robert Kaufman. Next, we're gonna show you Riley Blake. We've got a couple lines here I'll show you. The first one, Calico by Lori Holt of Be In My Bonnet. And, and Lori does a great job with her collections with Riley Blake, always uh, very popular. Um, and she has a bunch of nice little small patterns and nice color combinations as you'll see. And then as I unfold this card, you're also gonna see a lot of different patterns and notions that she also have, which are also available on our website. Uh, Lori Hold has all kinds of really interesting things. She's got a new Ulfa cutter. I mean, just what a make sure you have your sales rep show you this this line. This is a great one. But let's let's look at all these prints that they've got. It's called Calico. We've got a wide back that goes with it. A couple of them. We've got this flower garden print. This is salvage to salvage. I don't know if you can if you can see that, but really cool print. We've got this these zippy bag panels here. We've got some some accompanying zippers. The fabric itself delivers in December, as do I think a lot of these notions. Uh, we've got a nice pattern here. This is a 90 by 90 quilt. And a lot of new notions. And I could explain all these or, or show you all these, but you can find these on our website. But she has so many things on here that kind of coordinate with the group. Check them out. Really cool stuff. A couple kits, fabric kits, here and here. Some mugs and charms, and we've got trim and washi tape, pin holders, and design boards and seed patterns. Really cool, these have been very well received. That is Calico by Riley Blake. Uh, oh, next, Be Mine Valentine by Janet Wecker Frisch. One of my favorite designers. Every release, she's always got a new group that I'm looking forward to, a very unique style. This one, Valentine themed. This one delivers in November. Larger prints, smaller prints, all kinds of things. We've got a placemat panel here. This is the actual size, gives you some scale here. We've got a bunting panel, and we've got this nice pattern. It's a 40 and a half by 49 and a half quilt. And then a 72 and a half by 72 and a half inch quilt. This is Be Mine Valentine by Janet Wicker Frisch. Really cool line. Uh, next from Riley Blake, we have Mon Cherie. Another beautiful Riley Blake floral line. They're always very popular. This delivers in December. Nice quilt, 54 by 56 and a half. Here's the rest of the line. Mon Cherie. And lastly from Riley Blake, I want to show you, uh, oh no, not, not lastly, second to last, Hush 2. There was an original group called Hush, uh, which was these small prints of white, mostly white prints, but had a uh, low volume prints, they call them. Oh, those are cute. Yeah, yeah. And uh, each one here on this card for you shops, you can tell each design, a lot of the Riley Blake designers each contributed uh, a specific design to this group. So they all have a different look and feel. But that's the Hush 2. Hush 2 is the name of this collection. Hush, the original was also, has been out for a while, but was very popular as well. That is Hush 2, delivers in October. Now lastly from Riley Blake, Ride the Range, we're going outdoors here 
December. Very popular theme out west. It's great for a little boy's room. It is great. It's great for any room, really. I wouldn't be mad about it. <laughs> Beautiful panel, horses in the creek. Couple nice pro more panels. Is this digital print? Um, I don't believe the, uh, the panels definitely will be. Yeah. This is Ride the Range by Riley Blake, and that is December. So that's what we have for Riley Blake today. Um, I will also show you um, something new here from Hoffman Fabrics. We've got a Hoffman release. Before I, I kind of show you what I'm going to show you, I want to remind you all of their, and I'll lift this one up, to their 1895 Bally, but, but Batik line, which is a watercolor, uh, as you can see, print line. And they have such a large range, and this is a very popular Batik line uh, that we, we that you probably buy already. But uh, it's doing very well, and we've been asked, hey, do they make pre-cuts for just these prints or just these colors? And they finally did it, so we've been happy about that. I wanted to show you that to show you this. Really. I want to hang that on my wall. That's <laughs> oh, can we get one for marketing? That's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> So they have different themes. They've got these 10 inch square packs that have a theme. Uh, Ambrosia here is this one here. But this is called, these are called, these 10 inches are called crackers. And then of course we've got smaller ones. Another one, another themed. Uh, Harvest Warm. 10 inches. We've got, oh, we've got 5 inches. We call them snaps. So we have snaps and crackers. And then of course, Pops. We've got these uh, nice little strip pack, and these don't go with the 1895s. I'm sorry, I showed you the wrong one. These ones go with the 1895s. 1895 Bally Pops. Two and a half inch strips of just the, the 1895s, and you'll have three different colorways. And all this is a kind of a pastel rainbow, and we've got, as you can see here. Uh, a little bit darker tonals and some more lighter ones, but it's a great new thing all delivering in November for uh, uh, Hoffman for those 1895. So I've got all kinds of them here I could show you, but this is what they uh, present. Let's, let's get this and show you as well. Yeah. Another color range here, a little bit darker than the first one I showed you. So that's a really nice addition by Hoffman. Uh, next, I want to show you another group that's been doing very well, very popular, very well received by the stores, and it's Farmhouse. What do we call this one? I'm sorry. We call this a farm, Farmhouse Blooms. I know. Of thousands of fabric lines. <laughs> right. Oh, I've got this spun upside down. Let's put this the right way. <laughs> really nice floral line. Delivers in October. That's a nice print. Farmhouse blooms. And you, it's, if you talk to your sales rep or you even uh, visit our website and inquire, Hoffman does a great job uh, providing sales material. So we have catalogs that have projects for all these goods that you can uh, use to inspire you to make this quilt, that quilt, or whatever you'd like. But that's a, a really great project. I'm also going to show you a couple of their, each release they have some 1885 Bally Batik uh, prints. Oh. I'm going to interrupt you, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Those uh, Bally Pops you were just showing, yes. are they 40 strips? Uh, those are, yes, and if that information is not on our website, yeah, 40 different fabrics in each one. Are they, they're not on the, on the link today because I didn't know how many items you were showing. Oh, okay, so, okay. Uh, which Sasha is posting links to the collection in the comments, but um, are they also available half rolls? I don't, I don't They'll be right. available just like this. Just that. Yeah. Okay, Yep, perfect. just like that. Thank you for clarifying. Okay, some Bally Batiks. And I believe these are going to be ready in July. And I won't, there's a lot here, but 
every release, Hoffman's got some brand new batiks. And you can always visit our website and see all the different flavors and kinds. But I think they're one of the best in the business, if not the best in the business, with these batiks. I'll show you a few of them here. This first one is Coastal Mornings. Yeah, on the bottom. Oh, on this one here? Yeah. This blue no, one? The, the orange one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's pretty. Island time, more of a bright. Deep blue sea. Really bright colors. Purple, more of some purples and, and greens. Really nice. Lighter purples. Some darker blues and also some purples as well. That's a great little snapshot of what they do with their Valley Boutiques. A really, really great line. So that's what I wanted to show you for Hoffman today. Uh, lastly, I'm going to show you some timeless treasures. So let me move this over here. And I'm loading up your table, Chessa, with all this stuff. You can always put it back underneath. You're right, I could, yes, yes. <laughs> You'll okay. get the flow, Jeff. One Don't of these worry. days. <laughs> I'll start getting it. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> Timeless treasures. Um, a couple items I want to show you. Uh, Chong Wang uh, is their designer, and she always has beautiful lines, very bright, colorful lines. Here's a group that's going to deliver in September. I try to help, but I make it oh. worse. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Let's look at this untamed beauty September look at that panel 24 inch repeat panel bright colors that is untamed beauty we have project information stores if you want to talk to your reps about that another great one Great collection from this group, which is going to deliver in November. Kyoto Garden. And this one will have metallic. And I'm, it'll, they're showing me here, we've got some pre-cuts that go along with this group. Beautiful 24 inch panel there. 11 inch stripe shown, that's to scale. Nice project here. And some more coordinating Prince. That is Kyoto Garden. And what we've got next, uh, for all you dog lovers out there, you and you're all probably dog week? lovers. What's that? You don't have any cats for me this week? No cats, just oh, dogs. Just, should be just stipulation. <laughs> find your dog you love in this print right here. There's all kinds of them. We've got dog biscuits, collies, there's all kinds of them, but some of these prints you may have seen before with Timeless Treasures, but there's a couple of them that are, are brand new. This is a really neat piece here, but this one has been exceptionally well. Doesn't have a Cavalier King Charles. That's my dog. Aww. Puppy love. You have to call him. <laughs> and lastly, uh, from Timeless, I'll show you some of their Tonga Batiks as well. They've got um, a group that coordinates wallflowers, Tonga wallflowers, that coordinates with a wing and a prayer pattern that's very popular right now. And pardon me, the name escapes me of the pattern, but we can put that in the comments later. But a really light, pastel, batik looking group. Really beautiful. September for those. Just in time for fall projects to be made. And I'll kind of lay out some more of the Tonga from Timeless as well, like I did with Hoffman. So you can kind of get a feel for all the different ones and the different color schemes. Some purples and some light colors there. Now we're getting into some darker stuff. Some more lighter, 
some neutral tones, lighter blues. Got some darker reds here. There's a sunflower. That one's nice. There's your sunflower, Chessa. Yeah, favorite. <laughs> and then last header is this uh, is another kind of a darker red and orange from Timeless. So that is what I have today for fabric. In May, we'll probably show you a few more collections on one of these Facebook Lives that uh, we didn't show today. Uh, there's other vendors, uh, Maywood and Camelot, that we'll have to show you and, and many more. So really nice uh, offering this spring. Thanks for hanging out, Jeff. Yeah, yeah, thank you. So, so before we sign off, well, I think Sasha's going to go through real quick and make sure we didn't miss any questions. Um, if we did, we will, you know, I know we'll be reaching out to you about a couple of your questions and uh, make sure you guys check back because Jeff will get you an answer if we happen to miss it. Um, that's pretty much everything we have for today, so we're going to go ahead and call it but before we sign off we want to let you know about our market share social quilting event that is happening next month in may may is traditionally when spring market takes place yep. but the next five wednesdays we have planned to virtually share hundreds of the newest sewing quilting notions and fabric of course <laughs> um Exciting things are going to be happening every week with new products, special giveaways, and uh, I think we're doing a week of show specials. Yeah, we've got some, I know we have some really good uh, specials coming, and we've got a nice fabric special that we're going to announce that's going to be a really good one as well. So that's a good time to remind you to be a part of our private Facebook group so that you get notified immediately about the specials going on and just, it's the best place to be to be the first to know about what's going on. So um, these are, like I said, are going to be announced on our private Facebook page. We're going to get that comment posted if you haven't already joined. Um, and I guess that we can't wait to see you for our Market Share Social Quilting event. And we're going to see you guys back here in two weeks on May 4th, Wednesday, May 4th, which is May the 4th be with you. <coughs> Um, but thanks for being a Checker customer. We do have a question. Oh. Sandra asks about the pineapple pop-out pattern. She wanted to know if the spice pattern was available for purchase. I think the spice is the one behind me. Yeah, spice is the quilt that's behind oh, me and Jeff. So these are cut loose press patterns. All of the pineapple blocks that Maria showed you are for cut loose press patterns. So yes, these are available on our website. Um, if you're having trouble finding it, uh, just search Pineapple Spice. I'm pretty sure I have it in the link that's pinned to the top of the comments, but if not, we will make sure to comment on your comment and we'll get you a link directly to it. But yes, <coughs> excuse me, it is available for purchase. And it does not use the skinny ruler, it uses the original pineapple and the pineapple mini, but we can get you a link for the skinny pineapple that Creative Grids released probably about a month ago. Um, we can get you a link to that as well. So that's it, Sasha. That's it. All right, guys. See you later. See you next time. <laughs>